I feel like whenever I'm on a date, I'm like protective. Yeah, for sure. Did any pushback from the actual security guards about pushing them out of the way the one night? I didn't push him. I placed my hand on the gentleman's back to let him know I was behind him. If I would have pushed him, he would probably would have turned around and tased me. Of course, there's a lot to discuss with Swelsey. The interlocking fingers, the gentle touching, helping her out of the car. We spoke exclusively with human behavior analyst Susan Constantine to break down their body language. He feels very comfortable being the alpha. She feels very comfortable allowing him to lead. She loves that self-protection she gets from him. When he's guiding her, he takes his hand and puts it on her back. That is an intimate zone. You don't allow anybody to come into that zone unless you are in that love connection with them. A source tells ET Taylor loves how chivalrous he is. And check out the difference between Trav's handhold and her ex, Joe Alwyn's. It's a very loose, nondescript handhold. There doesn't seem to be some real intimacy in it. They, uh, they caught me with some weird hand-holding poses there. That was crazy. Hand on top of hand. You couldn't protect anyone more. That's also one of the strongest indicators of real deep love and intimacy. This photo is a princess grip. We often see that with royals when they grab onto the fingertips, and it's very delicate. Isn't it delicate? So one thing you might not know about the 34-year-old tight end, he's into fashion. Travis confessed to the Wall Street Journal it takes him at least three hours to choose his game day outfits. He also converted an entire bedroom into a closet. A source tells ET it's been easy for them to connect because they have similar values and goals, and they're making it a priority to see each other, even with their hectic schedules. But what's the one Taylor moment that had Travis super worried? Taylor talking to dad is a terrifying <laughs> conversation. I felt terrible. I felt terrible for uh, Taylor. If you see dad talking to anybody and you can't hear what's happening, who knows where that conversation's oh, going? <laughs>